Hi everyone, I'm Natalie Barbu and I am one of the co-founders and CEO of Rella and welcome to the University of Rella where we're going to show you exactly how to make the most out of your subscription with Rella. I'm going to be showing you how you can create your account with Rella and get everything set up. First, you're gonna hit start free trial or sign in. You're gonna hit sign up and then either enter your email and password or continue with Google. An account verification will get sent to the email that you signed up with. Once you confirm your email, you'll be prompted to create your account. Add your first social space. So this could be a client or your personal account. And over here, you can invite any member of your team. Keep in mind that when you start a free trial, you have to add all of the team members up front because if you go in and add team members afterwards, it's gonna activate your subscription. If you already started your free trial and you need to add team members, just email us. You can also create your first piece of content or just continue on to Rella. You're gonna be guided to pick your plan. You can also change the number of seats that you need here and you can choose the plan that you need. Once you enter all of your details, you'll start your free trial. Please keep in mind that when you are in your free trial, any changes that you make, whether it's upgrading or adding team members, will activate your subscription unless you email us ahead of time. We always recommend that you choose the number of seats and pick the plan that you want for the entirety of your free trial. If you signed up for the Premium Plus plan, you'll also be able to go to your organization settings, go to branding, and upload your logo and also change the colors to use your own branding. This is the white labeling feature, so you get rid of all of Rella's branding and make it feel like an in-house tool for your team. If you're looking to add team members to Rella, all you have to do is go to your organization settings, go to your billing, manage subscriptions, update subscription, and change the quantity. Hit continue, confirm the new price, and then you can go back to Rella. Then go back to your organization settings, invite a team member, choose whether they're an admin, a manager, or an editor, select which spaces they belong to, and invite them. You can also copy this link and send this link to who you're inviting. If you wanna see which team members are a part of which spaces, just scroll down and select each space to see who's invited. If you want to add an existing member to your social space, go to your social space settings, team members, hit this plus sign and invite an existing member to that social space. You can now assign them to content or to tasks and tag them in the activity section. And each team member will have their own login credentials. Now that you've created your account, I'm gonna show you how to connect all of your clients. Each social space is gonna have access to their own social media accounts. So go into your social space, click these three dots, go to settings, and go to links. Over here, you'll be prompted to connect all of your accounts. If you don't have the password and your clients need to connect their own account, just hit share social links, enter their email or get the link, and they'll be prompted to connect their own accounts. You can also send them this video so that they know how to connect their accounts properly. All you have to do is hit connect and a pop-up will appear where you'll be able to connect your accounts. Please make sure that you don't have pop-ups disabled. For Instagram, we always recommend connecting with Facebook. And when you do this, please make sure that you always hit opt in to all current and future pages. At the end of the flow, you'll be able to select the exact page that you need connected. You can also have as many social spaces as you need, which means you can have as many clients and as many account connections as you need. You're also able to go to space in the settings sections and color coordinate all of the platforms. Connections expire every 60 or 365 days. For Instagram and Facebook, it's every 60 days. And for all of the other platforms, it's every 365 days. This is what it should look like once your accounts are fully connected. You can also see when the accounts expire by hovering over it. If you want to remind your clients to continue to connect their accounts, just go to automations, create your first automation, external notifications, add the automation name, remind clients to approve content, add their email, select expiring events. You can select it for all platforms or pick the platforms that you want to notify them with and create the automation. Now your clients will get notified when it's time to reconnect their accounts. This is something that's set by all of the social media platforms and it's not something we can extend at Rella. I'm gonna be showing you how to use Ella, our new AI powered assistant. Think of Ella as the newest addition to your team. We recommend that you fill out the persona. If you already use an AI model that knows your brand voice, you can click the AI assisted one. You can just copy this prompt over here, add it to the AI model that you already use that knows your brand voice. And then whatever the response is, just paste it in the conversation here. If you don't wanna do that, just toggle off Ella assisted and fill out this form, which should take you five minutes or less. If you want your clients to fill out the persona, 
All you have to do is hit share, select anyone with the link. If you want them to be able to do the AI assistant option, toggle on and copy the link or share via email. On the main page of Rella, you can always click Ella in the top right corner. When you're chatting with Ella, you'll have all your conversations on the left hand side. You can start typing to start a new conversation or click any of these prompts for quick insights. You can ask Ella anything related to your social media. Whether it's to analyze your performance, help you with your brainstorming session, create content for different platforms, even look at your insights and optimize for either underperforming content or even analyze top performing posts. Ella understands your voice and uses insights in real time to be the assistant that you wish you hired sooner. And she gets better the more that you use her. If you want to see our FAQs, we're going to have it linked down below and you can access Rella on premium and premium plus plans. Let us know if you have any questions. Here's how to plan out your content calendar on Rella. If you go to your social space settings and you go to space, you're able to see all of the platforms. If you wanna add any custom platforms like an email newsletter or a blog post, you're able to go over here, hit the plus sign and add the platform name. You can also change the color and hit save. Even though we can't auto post custom platforms, you can still use Rella to plan it. When it's time to create your content calendar, we always recommend creating a project. Think of projects as shareable content folders. A lot of people will create monthly projects or you can just have one big project that you're working out of. When I go into my project and create content, all of the posts will now be in that project. Keep in mind that not all posts belong to a project. If you click into your social space and you see content that's outside of the project, you're able to move it by selecting it, hitting project and moving it to the project that you want. You can create new content from the board view by hitting the plus content button up here. Within each post, you can assign someone to it, change the status, change which project it's in, add the platforms, add any tags for internal planning purposes, schedule it. Keep in mind when scheduling content, we will remind you that it's time to go live. If you want it to auto post, you have to toggle on auto post. If you need to post manually, just click post. It'll download the media, copy all of the captions and hashtags to your clipboard, and then open the app. You can add a caption, add any hashtags, and you can select from saved hashtag groups or create groups by hitting this button and either saving something as a group or adding a new group. You can add files for internal planning purposes. You can also add any tasks. So let's say you need to remind yourself to edit. You want to assign a date and assign a team member to it, you're able to do that and you can check it off once it's been completed. You can select if it's gonna be seen on your Instagram feed if it's a reel. You can also add collaborators if it's on Instagram and a location and you can toggle it on to auto post. And once you upload your media, you're able to toggle it on to auto post. You can also see a preview of what it's gonna look like on the platforms that you uploaded and you can upload a cover photo or choose a cover image from the frame. If you scroll down, we also have a notes section where you can think of this as a running document. Feel free to add any links, scripts, or use this to your advantage. If you wanna break up each post based on the platform, instead of duplicating a post or creating a post twice, you can just go over here and hit repurpose content. This is gonna split up your content, but move everything over so you can just go in and edit the caption or any other fields that you need to edit for the platform. If you do need to duplicate a post, let's say you want to create a post as a template, you're able to go to these three buttons and hit duplicate. Within each post, you're also able to use Ella to its advantage and ask it to come up with a caption or watch the video and give you feedback. All you have to do is select the video. Ella now created a caption and even some hashtags for me and I can choose to apply it. Let's ask Ella to come up with a week's worth of content ideas and add the caption and the script within those posts. We can even specify which platforms we want ideas for. So let's say short form video. And let's tell Ella to post this at the most optimized time. Give it a few seconds and Ella will come up with the content calendar. Once it delivers the content to you, you can see that it scheduled this for Instagram and TikTok at my peak time with the caption and on different days of the week. If this looks good, you can accept it or you can reject it and give it feedback. And Ella is always going to give you suggestions to do next as well. But once it creates this content, you can click into it, scroll down, and see the script in the notes. Another thing you can ask Ella to do is anything within Rella itself. For example, create a new project and add five pieces of blank content in it. For example, create a new project and add an Instagram post going up every Monday. 
and voila, in a matter of seconds, it's updated your content calendar and created a new project for you. You can also see what it's gonna look like on your Instagram feed. If your Instagram account is connected, it'll pull your actual feed and then you can see what the upcoming posts will look like. If they're unscheduled, meaning they don't have a date on it, you're able to rearrange it so that you make sure you know what your Instagram feed will look like. Once you've created your content, you can see it on the board view, the calendar view, or the previews tab. On any of the views, you're also able to filter by any of these metrics. So whether it's any of the base filters, platforms, content types, tags, or statuses, you can filter the board view, table view, calendar view. And if you're looking on your calendar and you wanna see any of your unscheduled content, you can toggle on this arrow, and then you can drag and drop things onto the calendar or back to being unscheduled. If you need to share a content calendar with anyone outside of Rella, whether it's a boss or your clients, I'm going to show you how to do that. If you go into Rella, you'll have all of your projects below your social space. You're able to share projects or individual pieces of content. Let's go into September. I have all of my content over here. You go to the upper right corner and hit share. Anyone with the link can view, choose content to share, make sure that all of the posts are highlighted and selected and you can either copy the link or share it via email. This is the view that your clients are going to see. They're gonna be able to see the board view, the calendar view, the previews view, so they can easily scroll through content without having to click in and out of each post, and they can approve and leave comments all in one spot. They can see your media tab, and they can see your Instagram feed. If they click into a specific post, they'll be able to watch and view the content or download it by hitting this download button. They can see a preview of it. They can read the caption, the hashtags, see the notes, and they're able to change the status so that they can approve it. They can leave their name and their email if they want to leave a comment, and then they can comment back. They can even leave a comment about a specific timestamp by hitting this icon, selecting the video, going to the time, choosing the timestamp, and leaving a comment. You'll get notified about this comment on your end, and you'll be able to respond to them, and they'll get notified via email. You're able to comment back to them if you are on the premium or premium plus plan. Another thing to note is when you share the project and your clients go to the media tab, they're able to upload content directly to the media tab so then you can include it in any future posts. If you'd rather share an individual post instead of an individual project, all you have to do is hit share on the post. Anyone with the link can view, copy the link or share it via email. Unless you set an expiration date, these links don't expire. So as you add content or edit the content, the link will stay the same so you don't have to keep sending your clients the same exact link. The link will always be updated. What's great about Rella is you can send as many public links as you want, so you don't have to pay for a seat for your client. And on Rella, you can have unlimited social spaces, so that means that you can have as many clients as you need. We also have a video that you can find on our website that you can send to your clients so your clients know what to do when they receive a Rella link. If you need to collect assets from your client, so you need them to upload any images or videos, all you have to do is click on a post or a project, hit share, anyone with the link, instead of view, change this to assets, copy the link or share via email, and they'll be able to upload content directly to Rella. And you'll see it reflected within the individual post. Another thing to mention is your clients cannot see the private tab. They can only view the public tab. The private tab is reserved just for you and your team. Your clients to approve content, all you have to do is go to your settings, automations, create a new automation, hit external notifications, label this as anything you'd like, remind clients, attach their email, and then hit status updates, and you're able to notify clients to that email whenever content is moved to a certain status. So if you want to remind them to approve when it's moved to pending, you can select that. You can also create your own custom status, and then you will create automation. Instead of using Google Drive, you're able to use Rella's media tab to store all of your content. Just go to the media section, and you'll be able to see all of the content that's attached to posts, or you can upload content directly to Rella. Once it's uploaded within Rella, you're able to click in the post and see what it's attached to or add it to a post directly from here. Or within the new post screen, you're able to select gallery and pick content directly from your media files. And on Rella, you have unlimited storage. No need to have a Google Drive with all of your content. Once your accounts are connected, you can view your analytics. Go to your social space and hit analytics. From here, you'll see the cross-platform overview that includes all the accounts that you have connected. 
You'll be able to see an overview, platform details, platform performance analysis, and top performing posts across all platforms. If you wanna see each platform individually, just click on this button and hit the individual platform. You can change the date range of your analytics and you can choose to get Ella insights on your analytics as well. Here are some AI insights. It's actually gonna tell you what's working and what's not, and you can ask Ella to apply it. For the individual platforms, you can also see the top posts for that platforms and filter it by any of these metrics. And you can also see your follower demographics. If you need to create a report, just go to reports, create, select the platforms you wanna create a report for, choose whether or not you want an AI analysis in the report, hit done, and then it created the report for you. You can scroll through and see your report and change the platform. And you can also see your AI insights and recommendations. If you click into each insight, it tells you what it means and what it's been based off of. And then you can share these reports with your clients by going to share, anyone with the link, copy link, or share via email. If you need to view any of your old reports, just click on reports, view, and all of your previous reports can be found here. If you wanna access Rella's social inboxing where you can respond to comments and DMs directly through Rella, you'll have to connect your accounts and then you can access it by going to inbox in the social space. You can categorize it by direct messages or by comments and you can scroll through, view your comments and answer them directly in Rella. The comments and DMs that you answer in Rella will be reflected in the Instagram app. To refresh to see if you have any new messages or comments, just hit this refresh button.